Sarah and her best friend, Jessie entered West High School for the first time. The two girls had grown up together and played together since they both could remember. They hung together around the gates, nervous as they awaited the bell. They looked around and saw other older students. Girls with larger chests and boys that just smiled down at them as if the girls were at a lower level. Sarah and Jessie shared similar interests, but lately Jessie seemed to think about other things. She thought about makeup and boys, rather than dolls and games. This had somewhat strained the relationship during the summer, but the girls were closer together for their first day at high school. The new students, all as nervous as each other, were assigned to different classes. Sarah was hugely disappointed that Jessie was in a different class, as they were always in the same class at their previous school. Sarah sat quietly by herself the first period and listened attentively to the teacher as the class was shown around. She was naturally shy and did not talk to anyone during the morning classes and introductions. Sarah was busting to see Jessie at morning break, just as Jessie was. Sarah waved her long brown ponytail. She noticed how Jessie, when she found her, was with another girl and two guys already. She noticed how pretty Jessie was, with blonde hair and a well-developed body. Sarah really envied her physical characteristics. Sarah this is Michael and Stephen and Rachel, Jessie said. Sarah offered a shy and nervous hi. Jessie sounded so confident. Jessie then introduced her new friends to Sarah. Um, Jess can I see you for a second, said Sarah to her friend. Excuse us, said Jessie the others just smiled. What is it? Jessie said to Sarah. So are you going out with one of those guys? Sarah asked. Yeah, Jessie said, I think Stephen really likes me. Stephen was a cute boy in Jessie's class. Sarah listened to the other four talk on and on non-stop for ten minutes, but she had had enough of the others ignoring her. She called over her friend again. Look Sarah, Jessie began, but Sarah interrupted her. Why do you ignore me like this? Sarah said. Look, Sarah was furious. She went to touch Jessie, but she hit her very hard and her friend went tumbling to the ground. What was that for? Jessie screamed and shoved her back. Within twenty seconds the pair were rumbling on the ground and clawing at each other. A teacher broke them up as a crowd gathered round. They were sent to the principal's office. Mr. Jackson, the principal, how could this happen to two good friends on your first day here, he asked rhetorically. He called both of their parents and explained the situation. Both girls dreaded going home. They spent the rest of the day scared of what might happen at home and were not interested in their school day. When Sarah got home, she quietly slipped up to her room to begin her homework, hoping her mother would not see her. But she had noticed. Being a single parent, she was responsible for all the discipline in the household, for Sarah and her sister Bonnie. The discipline usually meant a spanking. Sarah's mother knocked on her door. Sarah, I think we have something to discuss. Mrs. Timms entered the room and sat on Sarah's bed, and explained why she was stupid and virtually said what the principal had said earlier in the day. For this, love, you will receive a firm spanking over my knee, but first I have an extra treat in store. Mrs. Timms went across the hallway into the bathroom, where she retrieved a cake of soap. She pinched Sarah's freckly nose and her mouth popped open. At this point, Sarah's mother placed the cake into her mouth. She waited for ten minutes while her daughter gargled and choked. She was thoroughly in tears afterwards. Sarah's mother wasted no time, and she was stretched over Mrs. Tim's well-accustomed knee. Mrs. Tim's picked up Sarah's large, thick and flat-backed hairbrush from on top of her desk. She began the spanking. Crack, went the brush. Sarah instantly yelped in pain, and she burst into tears again, crack, crack, crack. Sarah screamed out in pain, but Mrs. Timms had not nearly finished. 
Her whole bottom was now stinging with pain as the brush whacked down on the defenseless crying teenager's wounded backside. Crack, another yell and a flurry of tears. Sarah could not concentrate on anything the pain was so immense. Crack, 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 crack. The hairbrush whacked Sarah's bottom for the last time that day. The brush was put down. Sarah's mother then gave her 15 or 20 hard hand slaps to finish the job. Now make up with Jessie, said Mrs. Timms. Yes, mommy, said Sarah, blubbering like a Sarah rang her best friend and apologized and told her side of the story, as did Jessie. They both now talked to Jessie's new friends at school, and Sarah was really fitting in. She was happy.